Today we are going to compare two investment options under the section ATC which are ELSS that means equity linked saving scheme and NSE which is national saving certificate. Now as far as the returns go you can expect returns of about 12 to 15 percent in case of ELSS. Average returns of ELSS funds in the past 10 years have been around 16.64 percent per annum whereas NSE currently gives you returns of about 8.1 percent. Minimum investment that you can do in ELSS is about 500 rupees and in NSE is of about 100 rupees. There is no maximum limit of investment in both the options but only about 1.5 lakhs can be considered for tax deduction under the section 80C. Lock-in period for ELSS is 3 years and for NSE is 5 years which means ELSS is more liquid. Returns under ELSS are not taxed whereas returns from NSE are directly added to your gross income and taxed according to your tax lab. If you are in the tax bracket of 10%, your 8.1% returns could come down to 7.29%. If you are in the tax bracket of 20%, your returns could just be 6.48%. And if you are in the tax bracket of 30%, your returns could be just 5.67%. Now these returns are not in the position to beat even inflation. If you have opted for dividend payout option under ELSS, dividends would be paid out to you. A national savings certificate can be used as a collateral if you want to take a loan. Going back to the most important points, first that is percentage returns which can be as high as 12 to 15% in case of ELSS as the major portion of ELSS is invested into equities. Second point, tax on returns which is nil in case of ELSS and in case of NSE taxed according to your tax lab. Hope this comparison helps you to choose the best investment option from ELSS and NSE. Thanks for watching the video. Watch this space for more such topics. Happy investing.